Welcome to this little introduction. Thanks for clicking on our video, man. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, help us out. It don't cost you anything. It's free, and you get to watch some cool stuff dug up out of the ground. We see some great history, and we do in this video, man. You're getting ready to see some cool stuff dug out of the ground. Some Civil War stuff, and oh, man, I just got to bite my lip because it's really cool and some awesome stuff. I get some bucket listers and all that. But this is part two of the two-part video. Uh, two part, you know, get to dig the whole block. I get the, I shouldn't say dig the whole block. I detected the whole, the whole block, every house on the block, five houses in total. And uh, so uh, we entitled it Beep in the Block. And uh, we get to, again, like I said, detect every house on the block, uh, all different owners. The two houses on the end were people just moving in. And so, anyway, it's funny, on one end or the other, uh, they just moving in, gave me permission. And, what an awesome privilege, and you know, if you detect and you try to get permissions, you know what I'm talking about, how, you know, that's, you know, it's a rarity. But anyway, uh, some cool finds in this one. Uh, the first video, if you haven't seen it, you got to go back and watch it, but that was the first two houses on the other end, and so this is the last three. A lot of, a lot of stuff in this, I try to pack it in and make it short, so I'm going to make this short, all right? But I know one house, 1800s for sure. Uh, then the next house is a dilapidated, all kind of falling in, and then the next house is where the new folks moved in. That's the corner house. Found a lot of stuff in that yard. The other two didn't find a whole lot, but man, the ones I, in the thing, the one things I did find were very awesome. So hope you enjoyed this video, the little introduction about it. And uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, give us a thumbs up, comment, tell us how we're doing. Let us know you're watching the videos and you'll like them if you do. Yeah, we really, you know, that mean a lot. So help us out and do that. And uh, we'll just get right into it. Enjoy, all right? Have a great day or night, whatever time you're watching. Back at this Bye. Dilapidated stuff. And I got some kind of round here that I don't think it's a quarter. It's quarter size. I'll clean it off a little bit. Oh, there's some writing on it. <clears throat> oh, I cleaned up good. Uh, oh, auto panels, none better. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I love tokens. I can't, I'll have to clean it up when I get home. But hey, man, thanks for watching. Cool. Keep going here. See you later. Bye. Hey, folks. <clears throat> at this dilapidated old house and I got something kind of interesting here I think it's like a compact because I see a hinge or I did it's pretty muddy today right there see it and seems like something's in there but uh, it is awful muddy so I'm gonna wait I don't think there's any kind of change or anything in there but if there is boy you'll definitely see it and I'll be one happy camper <laughs> But I'm happy with that. That's cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever found a, well, it's coming at the bottom. I have found a whole compact, so I don't know what I'm thinking. Little ones, but not this big. That's for sure. That's big. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to move on, but thanks for watching. See you a little bit later, hopefully. Bye. Hey folks, we are back, and I got a couple things here I was going to show you, because I was under the rain, and uh, so it's uh, kind of rainy and nasty, and so I've got a few things, and I wanted to show you real quick, and I'll probably do that again if I come up with some more, but I got this dude. It's pretty interesting. I don't know what it is. It's I think that oh, the rain dropped right on my phone almost. I thought there's a little awning here, but <laughs> gotta be careful. My phone ain't waterproof. 
we'll get that home and get cleaned up. But I did find this uh, here, dude. And I see something on it. it says something like DP Bells. But man, it's got a bunch of crud in it. It will not come off. And I'm afraid if I break it, it's going to break whatever this is. So I'm going to put it in my Fragili box and go on. But if I get some more, I'll probably get under, try to get under this little awning here and show you because it's raining. I thought it was supposed to be done. I looked at the radar and it looked like it was over. Wait a little bit. Hadn't rained and then it started again just out of the blue. So anyway, if it gets any more, I'm going to be heading home. But anyway, thanks for watching for now. Sorry I couldn't show you the stuff in the holes. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, folks. <laughs> I just was recording forever. I don't know what I got recorded. I was saying I had this, and I think it was still going then. And then I was telling, I got this next door. These is all raining, so I was trying to get stuff, you know, up under this thing, under this little awning here, this old dilapidated house. Then I got a buffalo, which has no date that I can tell. See? And where's my I think this may be nineteen hundred. But I was saying we'll have to get it home and get it cleaned up to find out for sure. I don't know, that last number is kinda iffy. Then I got a pocket knife and I think it's an Imperial because I've seen those shields before. So I'll dry it out some sitting up here. Then I was saying I got this cool little watch bezel. I think it may it could even be silver. I don't know. We'll have to get it home and clean it up. But it's really thin and pretty neat. And then I got this. That's what I was really taking time on. I would, I think this is a mold of some sort. See, like a it looks like a leg, maybe a baseball player. I don't know. Got like a bat or something up there. Huh, that's what I was saying. It was kind of odd for Metropolis. Well, sorry about that. I, you know, it was raining. Hopefully, it stopped now where I can, you know, show you what's in the hole like I was doing this Indian. And, uh, you know, we can kind of go from there. But anyway, uh, I do appreciate you watching. All right, hopefully, we'll get on something else. But I was really happy with the Indian. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we're back. I got some silver in the hole right there. Who's that? Let's pluck that baby out together. Let's see. Oh, I think I just got to sit down. I just got to sit down. Yeah, I do believe. Let me see. Oh, I got to get some water. Oh, I got to get some water. Where am I going? Where am I? Where am I? Cool, man. Oh, awesome. I think I just got to sit down. I just got to sit down. <laughs> 18 and 91. Oh, that's got to be close to a uh, barber. I bet you. Nope. I guess I could have it in the frame. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Oh, I got all that side crap. Sorry, folks. Let me get this. Oh, man. Oh, that just made my day. Woo, doggies. Shit, doggies. I just got set down. Again. Oh, my second one this year. Man, awesome. Let's look at it a little closer. Oh, ain't she pretty. How pretty my other one? I had a half dime. 1840. 
seated half dime that was poured in concrete or dropped in concrete wet concrete and it's got a new orleans mint mark check it out oh man i am so happy yeah baby yeah baby 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 all right well man i'm gonna keep going i got some daylight oh that just makes my night though i ain't really found a whole lot found some kind of other token and maybe a gar i don't know i may have found a gar button but i got to look at it closer i don't think it is but if it is oh boy what a day all right thanks for watching bye All right, folks, we're back at this location here today, or at a new location, I should say, and uh, got my very first pretty cool target that I want to show you, but I want to show you something here before I do. See this blue house? Okay. And then uh, right there is the house that I found the GAR button, and in between it and the next one, you know, I don't know really what house you'd consider it at, is the Seated Liberty Dime. The next one, uh, the white one with the red porch, if you can see that, is the uh, one where I found the uh, Standing Liberty Quarter, and I found a V-nickel. And then the one on the end is the old Victorian style that I did also, and I found uh, V-nickel, let's see. Yeah, I found a V-nickel there, found a, a cool carriage-like medallion for Carriage Builders Association. But anyway, it's the first time ever that I've got to do the whole block. And uh, this is my last house on it. And I just want to show it's kind of cool to be able to do that. I've got permission to every one of these houses. And everybody's been so kind. But it's really cool to have that happen. I've never had that happen before. And I just want to mention it. But I wanted to mention it because I got this dude. And I believe that some ladies walked by and was interested in what I was doing. And they uh, helped me because I can't see. But we're thinking that this is a 1918 V nickel, but that's the, you know, the really the, let's see, I get it orientated where maybe you can see it yourself. Yeah, I think it is 1918, 1916, something like that. But anyway, first cool find out of the yard, old find. I'll show you the other stuff real quick. Oh, fill my hole back in. But just some wheat pennies, and then I found an old jack for the girls' game when they were little. They bounce that ball. I don't know what it's called, jacks, I guess. But anyway, hey, hopefully I'll find some more. I got not a lot of time today. I got a birthday party for my granddaughter, so it seems like every time I record, I got a birthday party I got to go to, don't it? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we're back and I got my next target. Good target anyway. I don't know if you can see that, but that's just how it flipped out from the dirt claw. It landed right on my finger like that. And that would be an IH pay. I can almost see the date already. That is awesome. Let's get it. Whoop. I knew that was going to happen, but hey, that's the way it goes. Let me see if I got it. Turn that just right like that. Put it on the glove. Commence the wiping. Wow. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see it. You ready for it? Look at that, folks. Whoop, maybe. Oop, there we go. 1880-something. Looks like 89. Man. One wiper. Kind of like them like that. You got to like them like that. Yeah. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Try the other side here for a second, and then we'll move on. Said I got a birthday party to go to. Well, I don't have much time. Where's this rain? I think it's supposed to be like that. Kind of like that. But hey, I'll take that in day long. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you in the... Boop. <laughs> Get you on the next hole. Bye bye.
All right, folks, we're back and got my next, well, I don't know, I shouldn't say decent target because I really don't know what it is. Just saw it and thought we'd film it because it looks kind of cool anyway. That's awesome. It's like some kind of military pin of some sort. Get wiped up there a little bit. Oh yeah. Hey, that's pretty cool. Great seal. It's like some kind of collar button maybe. Oh, that's awesome. Had to look that up when I get home, but that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. By the way, I don't think that's precious because it rang up high. In my opinion i'll look at it again but if you're wondering and uh if i'm wrong i'll definitely put a thing on the screen that says wrong <laughs> all right bye for now bye all right i gotta hurry on this one but it is kind of really strange not strange but just odd i saw a fella on Facebook had just dug one of these it's a music button like off a coat from the Civil War possibly <laughs> it is so weird how this works out sometimes full shank and everything on the back it's, this is no reproduction so it could be a post Civil War but we'll find out later hopefully by the back marks and stuff because the back's all attached and it looks in good shape but I gotta hurry because I got a granddaughter waiting on me for a birthday party so sayonara for now bye Okay, folks, just right after the uh, button, I was trying to find a light here. I got this thing, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, yeah, it's a rabies vaccination thing. I'm trying to find a date. I gotta go. I think my oldest is a. That's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, folks, we're back today at this location here, and I got something I don't know what it is, but just thought you'd like to see it because <clears throat> I don't think you know. I, I, don't, I know it's not silver this time. I said that before, and it was <laughs> so kind of cautious now, but just pretty sure this is aluminum western something on it it's got writing on the back too but i don't know if it's play money or what but it's you know pretty credited up corroded so i had to get it home maybe get it some clr or electrolysis or something to see if i can't figure out what it says but anyway i just want to show you why i had it out and so thank you for watching maybe we'll find something else cool today so all right hang tight hopefully we'll see you a little bit bye Okay, stopped the recording. It's like 1919. 19. I figured that was an old one because that man, that booger was down there. I had to work for it under those roots, and I mean, it was way down there. I hit it, so I ain't worried about rubbing it already. 1919. 19. I figured it had to be an old one. Think there's any mint marks that I can see anyway. Let me zoom in. I don't think so. There he is. I can't see it with my naked eye. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Back at this place again today. And so, anyway, hopefully we'll have something else. I was just thinking to myself, you know, there ought to be a silver in this yard. And sure enough, but man, whew, I had to work for it. I'm glad he didn't give up because that baby was down there sometimes when i think it's big and you know if it's like a big piece of iron i'm digging and my pinpointer is picking up way before it ever touch the soil i'll give up a lot of times because i'm pretty sure it's probably big iron but anyway thanks for watching bye for now
Hey folks, we are back. And if you know me, one favorite thing I like to find is tokens. But if you also follow me and follow our channel, there's something else I like to find. And I will let you guess for a second. Alright, that's it. And this could be it. You know what that is, folks? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. It may be a coal scatter tag. I like these. In fact, it was so funny. I was talking to the neighbor because I saw her coal shoot and I was telling her about them just a little bit ago. So, hey, we're going to sit this down kind of like right like this to see if I can open this. It may be just half. I don't know. Sure looks like one. I have found a few. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Oh no! Bump, bump. Unless it's on this side already. Let me uh, get a little bit of water. And give her a squirt. And a little brushing. Oh. oh, come on. I thought it was folded the wrong way, but... Ah. If anything's on it, it's on this side. And of course, it's packed with mud. Well, if it is, it's wore off probably, I guess, or usually they're kind of stamped. Oh, I think it is. I think I see something. Let's try a little bit more water. A ah. little bit of brushing. scatter tag and I can't tell you which kind and I just dropped it well that stinks <laughs> I dropped it and I can't find it It is. <laughs> oh, God. Wind's blowing. Okay. It's definitely a scatter tag, but I'm going to have to work on it. I don't know if it says Orient Coal. I think it may say Orient, but I'm not positive. But hey, I'm happy to have it. I'll look at it a little bit closer when I get home, but it is a coal, coal scatter tag because I can see the coal, and I think it says Orient, but I'm not positive. If I have one like this, I should. But. I like how it's in good shape, you know, other than the wording. All right, I gotta go. This is long enough video as it is. Bye. All right, folks, look what I just discovered in the hole. Woo, shoe doggy. I don't think that's gold. It could be anything from. I mean, it could be gold-plated, because just the way it rang up, it was awful high for gold. Clean it up. I don't know what it is. Could be silver, I guess. I guess it could be gold. I don't know. It's cleaning up like awful high, unless maybe could be something else, I guess, in the hole, making the numbers like that. Huh. I think it's awful light for gold. Let me um let me uh, do
do this real quick. I'll spin it on my finger and see if we see any markings. There's something there. I don't see what that's saying. Espo or something like that. tell me ah, what it could be gold field 10 karat gold field I think I see it now or 18k gold field yeah something like that yeah, it's too light, too. Anyway, I'm still happy to have it. All right, we'll get it cleaned up and get you some pictures here in a second. But thanks for watching. Bye. Folks, I have just found something I have wanted to find for a long time. And that is one of these cool old locks. I've got a real old one, but it's like a, um, and I found parts. But I have never found a whole one that is all there and it's you know one of these really old brass ones i found a, i started to say i found a really old metal you know i'm sorry metal they're all metal <laughs> but no uh, all iron you know me, uh, like steel one but this is one of those all brass ones oh i love it and i think it says u.s Wow, I wonder if that's some kind of, like, military one. If it is, I am going to be really stoked. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. Well, let me see if that moves here. Uh, I don't want to go too far with it. Well, that is so cool. I did find a, uh, what I believe is to be a band you know, um, Civil War band button, like a, you know, like a music band button here in this yard. And then next door, I found a GAR button, Grand Army of the Republic. So I don't know, man. <laughs> I just know I like it either way. That is awesome. That is awesome. How do you put the key into this booger at? The bottom? Yeah. Oh, and it's got like the old skeleton key, I think, too. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, that is so awesome. All right, thanks for watching, folks. I'm happy. Bye. Hey, folks, we're back. And it's been a little, little bit, but I got something pretty awesome, I do believe. Looks like an earring with a little bling in it. And I ain't for sure. I'm going to pull this up and... Look again, there may be another signal in there, but looks like there may be another part of it right there. I'm going to have to grab that. All right, well, hey, I just want to show you that. Pretty little heart and maybe more, maybe a set, I don't know. And it rang in the gold range, by the way. We'll figure it out later, but I just wanted to show you for now. Get a record of it and go on. All right, I'm really hot and I'm about out of water and I don't know how much longer I'll have to be able to go. I got a bunch of work I got to do when I get home too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, folks, we're back and I got a little heart locket and it could be silver because of the numbers on the VDI, but I, it's really gushy mud. I'll have to get it home and clean it up. But I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, folks, we are back. I just closed the hole because I'm in a hurry. But I just found this awesome token. Mount Vermeer. 
I don't know what's on the back side. I just know this. I hit it. Oh. That is awesome. Dollar in trade. I'll look at it a little closer when I get home. But man, I, ha I am so happy with that thing. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, welcome to our wrap up. This is part two of the two part series of Beeping the Block where I had the tremendous opportunity and blessing to be able to attack every house on the block. And so all five houses owned by different owners gave me permission and really awesome to be able to do that. I, you know, it is to me anyway, might not be to anybody else, but you folks that may metal detect and ask permission to you know, detect somebody else's yard, it's a, a, quite a feat and accomplishment in my book, you probably know. All right, hey, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff, all right, and you're going to also understand why I didn't, you know, you should understand why I didn't film all this, because I'd have a eight hour long video, so some of this wasn't filmed, and then some, just kind of explain this, I... Um, was detecting it started raining it was raining on and off so it got get to raining hard and i'm thinking okay should i quit i mean it was doing it that bad so i would find a couple things and my idea was um the set there was like a there's a dilapidated house that had a little porch and an awning that was still kind of hanging over it and i thought well i'm gonna set them over there and that way i can get to them and maybe just film them and together even though it wasn't at the hole and all that because my phone i didn't want to get my phone all wet and so uh, i did one like that and one clip and then i started to do another one because it stopped raining i had already had some stuff set over there and i found it in a penny and uh i went over there and thought i was filming the whole time and i didn't i don't want to even guess i even hit you know film or you know start or whatever so anyway i don't have any of the uh clip of me finding any head penny because uh, like i said it wasn't raining but when i got over there i realized it and so yeah that's when i you know i think i said something like you know well i thought i was filming the whole time but anyway just kind of explain that and but let's get started because man it's going to be real long if i don't all right uh here we go uh we'll start down here at the bottom this was found most of this was found at the last house okay uh this year i have no clue uh well i do have a clue i shouldn't have said that i forgot that i it says trip g and it says trademark someone had showed me a picture of this it is actually the top this was attached in i think that was supposed to be bent out a little bit to the top of an old canteen maybe a hot water bottle uh that uh, schrader the uh, Schrader company that was you know, kind of famous for making the valve stem nuts and stuff for the Model T cars, Ford cars. So that's what that is. It's the top that you would you'd turn this to open the uh, canteen or what have you. A couple old jacks for some of you girls that are you know still young at heart but old enough to remember the metal ones. <laughs> if you're like my wife, she's on her, I don't know, something like, 22nd 29th birthday if that makes sense all right and here's an old dog tag vaccination rabies rabies vaccination and it's funny about this i looked this company up and it's still in existence in fact i called them and dropped them an email with a picture they wanted to, they wanted to see it told them i'd send it to them i haven't heard back from them as far as the email is concerned yet but anyway i will if they want it thought that was kind of cool that they're still around okay you can always tell the older ones, man. They put some designs and stuff on them. But uh, I can't see. Francis Keel. I can't see what that last word says. Something new. But something in between there. But anyway, pretty old fancy key. Kind of cool. I don't think I got any of that. Maybe the dog tag. I did get this, I think. Uh, it's a form of play money. But it says play money in one and then it says on this side western stamping company <laughs> and this i filmed i know because it took me forever to figure out if it was a, actually a cold tag but yes this is one it says orient coal 
that should have been in black, like a black ribbon right across the middle. Probably would have had some red on it too, but you know, it's in great shape as far as the, you know, the piece itself, but the uh, collar all and all that's gone off of it. This is the, uh, it's missing that over here, you know, on one side it would have the, um, uh, the olive branch and you know, the arrows over here, but this was the hat pin that screwed in. It looks like a screw type, but uh, this would go on the dress uniform of, I think, an Air Force, if I, if I remember right, on their hat, the front of their hat. World War II, by the way. And found it, I thought this may have been silver uh, because it rang up in the silver range, but it's aluminum, a little aluminum heart. These two things were found in the same hole, and you'll see, uh, see that extra little ring there? So I think maybe that had something, in it. it was attached to something else, maybe I missed it, I, I looked, but anyway, a uh, little, you know, bling earring of some sort or charm, but it sure is pretty. And then I got a uh, semi-gold ring. It says uh, 10 karat gold field in there, and then it has a name of a company called Espo or something like that, I think. Yeah, you can see it barely in there, maybe. All right, then I had one work out of the yard. By the way, I'm not done with this. I got some more. I know the uh, this whole street I got some that folks probably let me detect. Very old Merc Diamond. It was down there, man. I mean, it was. it made me work for it. And it was probably 10 inches, 1919. Got me a pretty good looking V. And I do believe, uh, I'm trying to think of what, 1902 or 1912. Yeah. 1912 V nickel. Not too bad a shape for a V. I left that uh, black on there because it makes so Miss Liberty's head to stand out a little bit better. Found a beat up old Indian. It's all chewed up and bent, and you can see kind of a bend across the middle of it, or most of it. But it's an 1889 IHP. It's funny how I had this happen, but I was had picked up the dirt and flipped through the dirt, and it flipped over and landed right on my glove. Just perfect. You probably saw the video there. It was just kind of funny how I did that. And oh, one of some of my favorite things to find. This is a in trade only one dollar token. It has a date of I think 1914, and uh, M.T. Frimmer. And this was a fella that owned a little store in a little town called Joppa, Illinois, not too far. And he had he had these made. I think he had 25 cent value and 50 or something like that. Maybe one and 25. I can't remember, but. Anyway, man, I was sure happy to find it. And I didn't know nothing about this Engel system, but this is the name of the uh, token maker, and they would make these for different... I've seen a bunch of the, the same front, and but it have a different proprietor on the back. And so that's pretty cool. And I guess this company was really good about keeping records and who they sold to. And so, you know, it's one uh good thing if, as far as you know trying to trace the history of it and different things here's a bucket lister for sure for me folks oh i love it look at that it still operates but old brass lock thought maybe it was military but that's just the name of it u.s and uh so anyway i am so happy with that i have an older one it's an older one it's like a mickey mouse style and it's probably you know 60 70 years older than this and uh but it was all steel, and so it was all rust. I put it on electrolysis. I still got it and got it displayed, but I just love this one, man. I love these old brass, and I always wanted to find one. Kind of broke there a little bit, but, man, I'm happy with that. Sure am happy. And then another great find in this yard, bucket lister, would be this. Um, and I do believe this is Civil War era. I can't say for sure. But from, you know, the, the way that this shank is attached and the small, the, you know, the smaller shank and the company all line up for Civil War era. And uh, they made these post-Civil War, but this would be a music band button off a uniform for the, um, the music band button of one of the regiments, I guess, during the Civil War. So Awesome. All right, now I gotta hurry through all this. This stuff I didn't see is a little clip. This here, uh, 
didn't know what it was, but that is a vintage tire patch, a bicycle tire patch. And don't ask me, it's metal, how it worked, but you can look them up. Uh, Google it, you'll see it. This here, I have no idea, but this is metal, it's like lead. I think it's some kind of yard ornament, but this is a polished rock. And it's really pretty. I got a D. Little buckle, D buckle. More, more modern rabies vaccination tag, 2010. This was cool. I should have got this on video. Like I said, sometimes a lot of this it was raining, and you know, I just it's a it's old steam engine button. This here marble is something else. It just keeps flaking, keeps flaking. I, I haven't really touched it. And it keeps flaking. But this here, I was hoping to get something off of it, but nothing I can see. It's very thin. This here I wish I would have got on video too. It's an old pencil, I do believe. Got a little thing there, a little bitty pencil. I think it was a mechanical, small mechanical pencil of some sort. Uh, this I think was in my stuff with it was raining. I did them all together. Just a very small, I think it's a pocket watch bezel of some sort. It's not silver though, I don't believe it. It didn't clean up very well anyway. Let me zoom back out a little bit. All right, and then I found this uh, compact. I think I got this on video. It's all falling apart inside. I mean, it's broke right there, but still together. And this, I think, is a spoon. It's shaped like a leaf. You can see right there it's broke. And I think that is a spoon leaf. This year, and these were kind of found. Some of this was found in between the houses, or this was at the... Um, one of the other houses it didn't get on video but it says good for one cake cream oil soap free uh, when you buy one cake and of course it is one of those palm olive peat tokens which i'm so happy to have because i love tokens this is pretty awesome find if you ask me this is a soldier turned out to be a soldier and i thought maybe it was a, a baseball player when i first dug it but it's a mold for a metal toy soldier and I uh, wish I could have found the other half and put it together, but I put some plate, my uh, grandkids' play doh in there, and I popped up some pictures. I'm pretty sure if I haven't, I will right now. But anyway, that's pretty awesome. What's it doing in the tropical Illinois? Another old cool token. This is for a, a piano company out of Evansville in uh, Indiana, but uh, it was a. Uh, I think it was good for a little bit off if I remember right on the you know uh, I'm gonna get upside down do I yeah I said uh, uh, I could use more than five of them or something like that but I it was a little bit off I can't it's hard to make out but anyway that's pretty awesome and uh Wore out buffalo nickel. Pretty good shape Indian head penny for the yard there. Found this with the simplex. I got the simplex out and was trying to use it. I can the date. I for some reason I can't get this thing to focus on it for some reason. Uh, there we go, right there. 1904. See a little bit of liberty. I get that light just right, didn't I? All right, and then, man, a couple awesome finds here. And uh, I was right, folks. A GAR button, Grand Army of the Republic. This was the organization that the Union Civil War veterans came home and formed as, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like a club or like an American Legion type of thing. But um, I do believe they had their last meeting in, in the 50s, I think 57, 1957, and when the last... Civil War Union, so war veteran died, but that's what that stands for. You can see that's a G and then a great big A in the middle, and then the R. That is awesome to find that. So happy. And then I found this the same day, 1891, last year, Seated Liberty, dying. Shut down in a New Orleans mint mark. And that man, I had to work for this baby too. I dug and dug and dug. It was under root, roots, and it's a wonder, folks. I'm serious. It's a wonder I didn't hit it. And I may have right there. It looks like there's one maybe fresh scratch. I just now noticed, but man, it. <laughs> I was so happy though. 
I popped, I saw it silver and got my phone out, and then I picked it up, and when I started filming, I was like, whoa, because I saw the date down there. All right, that's it, folks, for now, and I got to go, because this, this, this wrap-up's 15 minutes, and so that's why, again, I didn't leave, you know, didn't get all this on film, but, hey, I hope you enjoyed the first half, and I hope you enjoyed this half, and, man, what an awesome hunt. I still got some ground there. Maybe I can make another video out of all this, but uh, for now, I'm going to get off here and uh, let you go, but subscribe, hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, all that if you enjoy it, and I hope that you have a great day or night or the time you're watching. Bye. Dreams.